All right, crystal survey. Survey with crystals. All right, let's see what they are. How satisfied with Honkai Impact 3rd? Somewhere between neutral and dissatisfied. I think that the jump from part one into part two was too radical of a change that I felt like they stripped away so much of what made Honkai Impact 3rd good without providing a proper replacement. I think now more than ever, like the constant S rank pace just does not feel good. Uh, poor character building experience. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, okay, social. My friend stopped playing. Game is too stressful. New stories are unappealing, yeah. In-game purchases. I definitely feel like... I've been okay just to get the main stuff, but... It is not... It is not pleasant. Like, oh, I need to get... The new character, the, all the gear, and then the Astro Op. Too many spams and plugins. characters are unappealing I think they had something they had great potential with Song Chue but they made her a floaty character with slow animations I think I feel like chapter 3 of part 2 did a good job trying to salvage the story and they definitely made Song Chue a very interesting character to follow And the boss fights were really good. But how does that translate to the rest of the game? Um, oh, Terrence, can you uh, timestamp this? I might, I might need this as a standalone highlight after the stream. Thank you. Would would you mind cutting the highlight for me and I'll I'll export it afterwards. Uh what parts of in-game purchases are unsatisfactory? I'm not upset about battle suits and equipment being able to be farmed late at a lower cost later cuz it's like usually it's two like one and a half to two years later. But I'm more upset, you know, battle suits and equipment obtained after spending time and money are rarely used. Yeah, like, I got Song Chue double S, right? Astral Op Song Chue, and now it's like, oh, Serapium is, is here to play. It feels especially bad for all the stuff that we got last year. Because now everything from last year is just cut off, whereas, like... You know, going from Flame Chaser into last year, a lot of the Flame Chasers were still used pretty heavily. Yeah, it's hard for me to get my desired Valkyries equipment and Astro Op within my budget. True. New Valkyries equipment and Astro Ops come out too fast, so I feel a lot of pressure. Yeah, true. Supply drops are expensive, true. And then, yeah, battle suits. The what you get for what you what you pay in time and money just doesn't feel as good, especially in part two. 
Part of it is part two anti-bias, right? Anti-part two bias is like... Individually, the, the Valkyries and the battle suits have really nice animations and stuff, but it's like... It's not better than what we had before. It's just numerically superior. But higher combat power doesn't mean a better experience. It's just artificially better. Uh, what were the reasons that made me play Honkai Impact 3rd in the first place? I was felt bored and wanted to try a new game. Uh, I've seen a lot of ads. They There was a Crunchyroll manga, manga ad, right? There was a Crunchyroll manga ad. And that's what got me into Honkai Impact 3rd. I saw an ad on Crunchyroll. They were like, play the game. And here's the manga tie-in. And that's how they got me. That's how Mihoyo got me. I was interested in anime-themed games. Yeah, true. I liked the gameplay. Co the, the combat was great. Crunchyroll ads back in 2018. Does anybody miss the Crunchyroll manga section? I miss the Crunchyroll manga section. What are my current... Oh... What are my current pursuits? Collection? Uh, strategy, I guess. Definitely not ranking anymore. I think ranking... I think ranking isn't there anymore. Um, does anybody actually click sense of belonging? I feel like you have to actually be a very, very introverted otaku or, or you know, weeb to click this. The surprises and joy in playing supply events. The gotcha. Some people do play just for the gotcha. Um, I guess right now for me is social, right? The part of the reason I still play this game is because you guys still watch me play this game. <laughs> Even though I'm not necessarily a, a tryhard player anymore. Uh, best describes my experience playing Honkai 3rd. I feel very stressed and tired when playing the game. There's always too many things to do. And then, you know, it's it's hard to let go of the competitive mindset. We used to play at a very high level at one point in time. I used to be very excited to study the latest strategies. Not so much. Old characters aren't suitable for the current version. Uh... Too hard. It's hard to rank in higher abyss arena. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's time consuming, guys. Time consuming. Right, Shuba. You remember when when it was fun? And then one day it just stopped being fun. Right? And then you just stopped caring. And then you stopped reading about what the latest thing is going to do. Too many game modes and activity. That's, that's what it is. Too many game modes and activities. It used to be, I love improving my control skills and trying complicated stage mechanics. Now it is, though I love improving my con control skills and trying complicated stage. I prefer an easier experience now. Because I we've been doing this for so long, guys! We've been doing this for so long. <sighs> What modes do I play regularly? Uh, Armada, Elysian Realm, Realms of Battle, Material Events, Infinity, Ab Infinity Abyss, Universal Mirage, Memorial Arena, 
open world dorm system version events. Part two sandbox, no. Sometimes, but no. Battle events, yeah, chip space, story chapters. Uh, story chapters. I am dissatisfied with everything in this game right now. <laughs> I'm so sad. Because the magic is gone. Everything just feels like a chore. Every gotcha just feels too expensive. Why do I why should I put forth this effort into this game when I could have a much more relaxed experience playing Genshin and Star Rail? Which are vastly simpler. Even Zenless doesn't give the same amount of pressure, right? Or maybe it's because I haven't gotten to the end game in Zenless. Uh... I'd say battle events I'm kind of neutral on. Uh... Abyss, I've been Abyss and Memorial Arena. I've been very dissatisfied with just because of the way that they, the design, the battle designs have been just really bad. I'd I'd even at compared to Abyss and Memorial Arena, I'd give Realms of Battle a neutral. Beta events gave you massive red flags. I mean, it's it's a less sweaty Honkai Third. So, it's great if you didn't want to be as sweaty as you used to be, but it's like if you wanted a little bit more sweaty. Because Zenless basically follows the Genshin and Star Rail formula, where like, there's no additional reward once you pass a certain threshold. I think Material Events is just outdated. Storm system is also just outdated. Armada system is outdated. <sighs> I stopped playing after. I will repeatedly play to get a higher score. No money involved in fighting games. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. There's no... But see, here's the thing, right? There's no PvP in Zenless. And that, I think, from a formula standpoint and from a overarching grand scheme design standpoint, I think that's why Genshin and Star Rail and Zenless are just do way better than Honkai 3rd. Because in Honkai 3rd, there's always that looming factor of, like, oh, pay to win. I feel like this none of these describe my situation because I've already I've been playing so long that all my roster is pretty developed. For some reason all PvE games are pay to win Lamau online of course. In what context? I in in a way MiHoYo games being PvE is still pay to win, right? Like Genshin and Star Rail once you get to a certain point, like, the hard mode content, the end game content that gives you the best rewards do start feeling pay to win. I can sort of see that.
strive blazing does blazing edition come with uh some of the battle passes or the season passes already built in is there a blazing edition upgrade on steam that is bullshit blazing still my heart is blazing everything included s4 pass how much is the upgrade Baldur's Gate 3 looks good. First Ascendance surprisingly looks pretty good. Oh yeah, No Man's Sky. Stormgate. Oh yeah, Stormgate! Uh, does Stormgate have a campaign ready yet? Right. How much did it cost, Shuba, for Blazing Edition? And also, if I buy Blazing Edition and I already own Standard Edition, can I get some of the costs waived or no? Or do I just have to buy the DLC? Oh wait, I already have Season Pass 1. I think. Uh, browse all subcontent. So... That's crazy that they're adding Dizzy. That's so cool. Okay, yeah, so I do have Season 1 built in, because I have Biken and uh, Testament and all them. I think it's because the edition of the game that I bought came with uh, Season 1. So... If I bought Season 2, 3, and 4 standalone, it'd pretty much be the cost of Blazing Edition without paying for Blazing Edition. It'd be a little bit less than Blazing Edition. Uh, so I'm probably better off just buying the individual DLCs. Oh, I should have bought them when they came out. Ugh. Oh, well. Too many Steam games and never enough time to play because I'm playing Honkai Impact 3rd. Yeah, I just... 
Maybe I'll just spread it out over time and just pick up the DLCs like every paycheck. But see, for me, it's like investing money into Strive is more like to to have that fuel to draw fan art. So I could be an FG fan artist. Which of the following Valkyries I like? I like all the Part 1 Valkyries. Even Elysia. If I had to make that choice. I knew it. That last option was going to uncheck all my checks. Even Goofy Susanna was better characterized than most of the Part 2 characters. Uh, Coralie, Songtre, and... I almost want to say Senadina, but like... I kind of like Lantern, but not that much. I follow it occasionally. Grindiness, story writing, and story presentation. The game. <laughs> yeah, what is your main source of understanding Hong Kong Impact There's story content? The game. Who do I even play on Strive? When Strive released and I was labbing with Pachi and uh, Shiroi, I used to play a bit of Kai and a little bit of Soul. But like, as far as like my main, I definitely would say that I was an Eno player. Um... Eno's stuff just felt right, even though, like, her ultimate special, her special, like, finishers, like, had really annoying inputs. Uh, her, like, special command grab, and then the, uh, the big ex air, air explosion. But I haven't I haven't touched Strive since like year one, so anything that I say regarding Strive doesn't matter. But Joe Sensei Joe Sensei was a Biken main for a bit, then he became a Bedman main, and he got sixty fifth place at Evo. <laughs> he did good. He did real good. Wait, uh, is Star Rail on this list? They didn't say anything about, um... 
I didn't say anything about turn base. Oh, there's turn base. How many mobile games am I playing? I didn't try the 3v3 play test, no. They nerf bike in this patch, it's okay. I'm okay. I don't I don't play competitively competitively enough to care about the nerfs and the buffs. When I do play, it's just to just to goof off and have a good time. How many how much time did I spend on mobile games? Way too much. In the last month, ooh, I've been curbing my mobile game spending. I want to say under $50, but I think realistically it's probably right at 50 to 99. Rather not say, yeah. Play with real life and online friends. What do I mainly do on live? I stream. Watch live streams? Chatting apps, browse forums. You know what I've been reading on forums lately? My, my employee di uh, subreddit. So, I don't read comics online that much. Well, I used to, hold on. What day is today? Today's Saturday. Let me check on uh, Viz. I need to see what the latest uh, issue of uh, Kaiju number 8 is. Oh boy. Play games. Watch long videos. Listen to the music. I stream! Honkai 3rd! Twitch! Yeah, I'm here. Discord, I'm here. I'm on Instagram, but I haven't really used Instagram and Facebook all that much. A little bit of YouTube. I used to be on TikTok. Uh, not TikTok. I used to post to Pixiv. I haven't really been on Pixiv. Videos over one minute. I don't really watch shorts. I live stream, but I don't really watch live streams. Uh, sometimes I'll watch Ria Tanaka's live stream she plays some really fun games um youtube i'll see like some of their posts on instagram and sometimes on twitter when other people retweet it i just don't i just don't use social media the same way anymore like ever since tweet deck died i just haven't use social media the same anymore uh i think it's just these two i don't really care so much about all the other stuff cooking with valkyrie and elf academy i, I miss those I, I wish they would bring those back Everything else I just don't feel like I care about as much. I still haven't watched uh, the Flame Chaser anime. Community events. Ooh. I don't because I'm too busy streaming the game. <laughs> game influencers. I'm I used to be a Honkai third game influencer. <laughs> uh I am a high three streamer.
I occasionally buy it. Models. Yeah, I want models. I want figurines. Tech accessories, like keyboards. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Standees. I need, uh, where's the standees? Trinkets. Here we go, standees. I have bought books before. I think the other works one was the best. I think exhibitions are probably. I'm not interested in on-site events, to be honest. I did the I did the Kung Fu Tea one just because there was a location close to me. I was so active in that one they gave me the, the leftover box of stickers. I still have that leftover box of stickers. I thought we were gonna just give them away, but then I kind of got bored of doing the giveaways. We should we should start those again. Uh, I can I can put this right. Oh, I'm about to give away my PII. Streamline. A. It's. Your boy, Fenrisk. Fenrisk here. I think a lot of the events and uh, progression modes need to be streamlined. Words also need to be consolidated to the main uh, end game. There's too many abandoned because of that third as who was used as a Test bed. Test platform. A lot of ideas used in other video games later on. Uh, APHO and APHO2, for example, have so many. Complex combat systems that never thrust back into the main game. Meanwhile, Part 2's Astral Ring is a inferior system. It be to offer. Part 2 as a meta shakeup and too much a leap in terms of changing how the game uh, Players wait to the gameplay. It made a lot of time and money investments in 2023 feel invalidated. And older versions. Uh, 
of the older Western Valkyries. They have very good longevity. They are very specific niche specialty. With some exceptions where the point uh, design Part two moving to a concept restaurant each patch each version also feels very exhausting compared to how part one Gotcha system fell. With a rank on SP, a emphasis on protein. Universal Mirage still feels a Tiresome because even though the duel was finally added to allow multiple tweets in one go, it only was applied to seven, not four lower floors, where a lot of new players struggle. Get past. Also, the changes did not reduce the crafting requirements, so farming for two to three year old gears still takes a really, really long time. Which does not even make sense anymore with the amount of only stuff being added. Most of part two's version events were moderately fun, but lately I have been losing interest in the story as well as the events. Is just especially if there are dailies involved, daily quests. Daily missions. Involved. Compared to other video games. The time gates on story and events also don't help the skill. get turned away by how much energy is required to invest in this game even if not for doing high rankings. I don't know how you even fix any of this, because it's like... 
a lot of this is just like it's just what the game has become right and you can't really fix it unless you do some like insane amounts of pruning which not everybody's going to be a fan of. Not everybody's going to be happy with that. On the side of higher ranking things. I've lately been bored of the new fights that have been introduced. A lot of the mechanics just feel gimmicky, and there's less and less emphasis on good fundamental mechanics the old days. I don't know how to fix this, but it is overall causing Need to lose an emotional attachment to this game. No, that one of the core themes is eventually graduating as time goes on. A lot of my peers, friends, taken at different approaches as their stopping point hasn't felt like fun. Alright, I'm gonna copy paste this into my into my uh, Discord. I think that's gonna, we'll go do Play Abyss.